Hello and welcome to the Ingerati studio live at the European Utility Week. I'm Sofia and I'm joined by Elias de Kaiser. Uh, how are you, Elias? I'm doing great. Thank Brilliant. you. Brilliant. So, um, Elias just won uh, yesterday the Initiate Program uh, Award, uh, giving uh, his vision on the uh, energy, uh, on the future of the energy. So, can you tell us a little bit um, what you spoke? How did you convince the judge to choose you? Sure. Um, so I'm an energy engineering student finishing okay. my master's and uh, I have met so many people uh, both here in the, in the European Utility Week and, and at other events and I really see that the technology side of the transition towards renewable energy in Europe is not going to be the main problem. Okay. I really believe we have enough smart people, we have enough engineers who are going to get the job done. Um, Personally, I'm more worried about the sustainable implementation and then I, I really mean the economical and the social uh, sustainability of this renewable energy transition. So what I propose to the jury mm -hmm. is, is three points that I really think are necessary to make this a success uh, to reach the 27% renewable energy target in 2030. So first of all, it's, it's very important, I think, that we really come up with a good system of uh, effort sharing, with which I mean which country is going to do how much in, in this 27% goal, because they didn't define that. Okay. Um, for 2020 goals, the European Commission had national targets, but those were rather based on diplomacy and the GDP of the countries and not really looking at the renewable energy potential, potential. Of, the, of the different member states. So, in my opinion, that doesn't really make sense from an economical perspective and it's also not so fair. Um, so that's why I propose that we come up with a system that really takes into account the, the potential of the different member states. And then a second important thing is um, that we have a unified support mechanism. Right now, subsidies are still important to support renewable energy. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is, this is something that we try to phase out. But in the coming decade, it will still, still play an important role to support renewable energy. And there I think that European, uh, the European renewable energy sector can become more uh, cost competitive mm -hmm. if all those countries use the same types of subsidies. Um, because otherwise, countries have a business case that works maybe in Germany, but it doesn't work in Belgium, okay. and so on and so on. And also it's more prone to political fluctuations in, in the countries. If there is a new government elected, then uh, suddenly the subsidy scheme is stopped. So this, this, this doesn't give the, the, the right stability that companies are looking for to do innovation, to do R&D and so on. If you do this on a European level, I think we have more certainty about those things. And then uh, the third part is, is actually, for me, from an ideological perspective, the most interesting. And, and uh, I believe that this is both the most important and both the, the most difficult part of the, of, of the story, and it's energy democracy. Yeah. So I really believe that um, energy, it's the, it's the driver of our modern society. So I think it's very important that the people, the common man in the street, uh, is involved in, in developing the future of this. So we need to involve citizens in decision making in all kinds of projects that are related to energy and renewable energy. We have to support uh, renewable energy cooperatives because in these renewable energy cooperatives, people, just normal people like you and me, can participate in those projects and we feel way more connected with it. We can get benefits that go directly back to the community um, and I think that this is the way to go. I mean, the future of, of, of energy is something that not should be decided by, by just a few big companies um, it's and, 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 yeah exactly and, and not just by big companies and, and a few engineers somewhere in a boardroom it should really be something that all of us can contribute to all of us involved exactly and that that are the three main points that that i believe uh, are necessary to make the renewable energy transition a, a success in Europe. Okay, so yeah. I can understand why E1, of course. Um, <laughs> so, um, Elias, this was a great opportunity for you to be able to present at exactly. uh, the European Utility Week at the yeah. Initiate Program. Yeah. How do you feel? Like, and also, I wanted to ask you, how did you do to get here? Like, what was the process? Did you apply? What? Yeah, exactly. So we were informed uh, by people from, from my master program okay. that this uh, youth initiate 
uh, talent program is here to stimulate interaction between students and young professionals and the industry, which I really encourage. I, I think this is a really good uh, thing that it happens because um, young people have often ideas and sometimes we're a bit naive, but this can also yeah, allow us to think out of the box. And I think this is something that in the very fast moving industry that the energy sector is and the utilities are, are really in need of this out of the box thinking. So I think that this, this interaction between students and young people and, and, and the bigger companies, that this is something really valuable. Okay. So that's why I was, I liked the, the, the concept, I liked the idea. So I wanted to apply and basically what we had to do is write an abstract okay. on our vision uh, of the energy future. And from this abstract, from all the people that, that sent their abstract, they chose five nominees who were then able yesterday during the award ceremony to present their ideas in front of the jury, in front of the audience. and. Um, where we were asked questions as well, of course, by the jury, difficult questions, <laughs> I, I have to say. Uh, and then I, I was uh, very happy to, to hear that they supported my ideas and chose me as the, as the this winner. This is really exciting. From a lot of yeah. people that apply, you were five exactly. and then you got to win. Exactly. This is really great. Um, and so you were here for the three days and you told me offline before that you were going at the Smart City Conference uh, exactly. as well. Are you doing something there? Is it just to meet uh, a few people, um, listen to a few the, conferences? At the, at the Smart Cities Congress, I mainly go for the keynotes okay. and for the debates because I think it's it's very interesting there's a lot of people both from the industry and from governance levels from cities all around the world and um, there you really see what people experience in the field if we try to build smarter cities cities that are and I'm very happy to see that cities that really think about the citizen more and more rather than just the technology what are the struggles? What are the things that work? What are the things that don't work? And I think for me as an engineer, this is something that I often do not see in my normal curriculum. Of course. And therefore, I'm really happy that I have the opportunity to be here and to, to get this side of the story as well. Perfect. And yeah. uh, so we were speaking about the Smart City Expo, yeah. about the European Utility Week. Uh, are you here as well to see a new technology as an engineer? Because of, yeah. I guess you will go to a keynote and to all the exactly. speech and everything. But yeah. are you here to like pop in uh, each booth and see like what's the emerging technology is and everything? Exactly. Here at the European Utility Week, uh, it's really the engineering side of mm, me that, okay, that can so get both sat satisfaction indeed. So I meet very, very cool startups here, very inspiring uh, ideas. Also during the keynotes this morning, for example, I, I had the ability to see a keynote from Tesla. This, these are things that are really exciting for me um, because these are companies and startups that I look up to as, as a student and I dream of, of starting a, a startup myself when I graduate. So this, this is really exciting for me. Uh, being also together here with other students, also yesterday during the award, um, there were many students in the audience and I'm very happy to share my vision with them because in the end, we are going to be the ones exactly. who, who have to take it over and have to build a new energy system. And I think so, it's so interesting that yeah. a lot of young people get involved exactly. now exactly. in the energy uh, industry. So well done to you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much for taking yeah. the time for the interview. And uh, um, feel free to check our uh, Ingerati um, videos on our YouTube channel. Goodbye.